Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of the Survival Games mini-series. In this episode, we're going to write the join and leave commands. Uh, I know that this is not the most exciting part of the series, but after this video, it should get a little bit more interesting, because after this is when we're going to start writing the listeners that will actually control the game, and then we can start adding in all of the cool extra features, but for now, we just have to write uh, the base code that's you know important that we need to have. Before we um, uh, get into that, I need to uh, fix two mistakes that I made because uh, I always have to make at least one mistake in each video so that I have to go back and fix them. So uh, the first mistake that was pointed out to me by a few people is over in Arena at line 37, um, I uh, have this line right here that says if, this is for loading in the chest, and I say that if the um, block at the location is not null, or the block is a chest, then I remove it. What I meant to say is if the block is not a chest, so I need to negate it like that. So I need to say if the block is null or the block is not a chest, if either of those is true, then we want to remove it because it's obviously um, not a chest anymore. So that was the first mistake. Second smaller mistake that I made right here is um, I forgot to say... Uh, with the uh, data folder, I want to say if main <coughs> main dot get plugin dot get data folder dot exists, not database. Sorry, get data folder dot exists. So if it doesn't exist, then we want to create it. That's the last thing that I forgot to do. Main dot get plugin dot get data folder dot uh, mk dir or make directory. Okay, so I think that we are all caught up with the mistakes. One last thing, if my voice sounds a little bit weird in this video, it's because I'm a little bit sick. I have a uh, stuffy nose, so I'm trying to uh, do the video. Uh, you know, trying to talk as best as possible. But if it, my voice sounds a little bit weird, that's why. So let's go ahead and create the join and leave commands. And <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and be lazy. And actually, no. I'll just, we'll just go ahead and create it from scratch. So we'll go ahead and create a new class called join. And this will be the join command. And then the leave command is going to be pretty much the same, just with a few changes. So this is, of course, going to extend game command. And then, of course, it needs a public void uh, on command, which takes in a player p uh, and a string array, excuse me, string array args. Uh, good. And then, of course, we need to have our command info annotation, which contains, uh, sorry, that's the wrong one. we got to import it. There we go which contains description, usage, and aliases. So we're going to say description is equal to join a game. Usage is equal to um, arena ID. I think that's how we did it. Or is it arena name? Okay, so then it, the usage is going to be whatever name you want to join. Forgot the comma. And then the aliases are going to be... Uh, join and J. Okay, so now we have join set up. So the first thing we want to do, of course, is make sure that the player is not already in a game. Because if they're in a game, uh, then we don't want them to go join another game. So if um, arena manager dot get instance dot get arena for P is not equal to null dot send message try color dot red and then we'll say you are already in a game sorry about that okay so then it'll just say you're all you are already in a game and then of course we want to return from that so now we're going to say arena a is equal to arena manager dot get instance 
dot get arena for args zero. And before we do that, actually, uh, if args dot length is equal to zero, because they obviously need to specify the name of the arena to join, then we want to tell them uh, in red, you must specify the arena to join. And then we want to return from that. So now we know that they specify at least one argument, so we can go ahead and get the arena, and then we want to say if a is equal to null, so if they try to use an arena name that doesn't exist, we of course want to send them a message in chat color dot red, uh, and then we're going to say um, an arena by that name does not exist, and then we want to return from that. Finally, everything should check out, so we're going to go ahead and call a dot add player p. Now over in add player, it will go ahead and add the player uh, to the list of players, then it will teleport them to the correct spawn, and then right here we're going to have it send a message that says um, in chat color dot green, uh, you have joined arena ID. So now it'll tell them there. And the reason why we're doing it there and not in the join command is because um, there might be some extra checks that you want to do. Like, for example, you might uh, add in a system where you can denote certain arenas as being premium only, where you need to be in a certain rank or have a certain permission in order to join those arenas. So in that case, you would probably possibly want to do the check in here. Uh, another example is if you want to impose a limit, which I think we're probably going to end up doing because we're going to need to. Um, what's up with that highlighting? If you're going to need to pose a limit, uh, like you'd probably want to cap the limit at the number of spawns there are. So if too many people try to join, then you don't spawn them, you know, then you just stop them from joining. So let's actually just quickly go ahead and do that right now. We're going to say uh, if players.size plus one, so the total number of players that already exist plus this new one, if this is greater than spawns.size, so if there are going to be too many people in here, then we want to send them uh, a message and tell them that it's full. This arena is full. Now you might want to do this a different way. You might want to have an artificial limit, maybe something that you specify in the config. You can say you can cap it at 10 people, even if there are more spawns. Uh, but this is just how we'll do it for now. We might end up changing that. So now, if there's not enough spawns, it will tell them that the arena is full, and it will return, so it obviously won't add them. But otherwise it will, and then it'll tell them that they joined. So that's all that we have to worry about for the join command. Now we're going to go ahead and copy this. Put that in the wrong place. We're going to go ahead and copy this and paste it, and we're going to call this leave. And then this will be leave a game. There will obviously be no aliases. Or, sorry, there will be no usage because it's just whatever game you currently are playing, you'll leave. And then the uh, aliases will be leave and L. So, first we want to change it to say if it is equal to L, then we want to say you are not in a game. So, if they're not in a game, then we obviously don't want them. But we're actually going to say arena A is equal to arena manager .get instance .get arena p. Then we're going to say if a is equal to null, they're not in the game. But otherwise, uh, all we want to do is call a dot remove player. So if we know that they're in a game, if we know that they're in an arena, then we just want to go ahead and remove them. And then in arena, we're going to go ahead and write a public void remove player player p players dot remove p. And then there are other things that you would. Uh, also want to do like for example teleport back and I think that you can do just for now uh, let's just say get worlds dot get zero dot get spawn location this is just uh, really lazy eventually we'll probably have them define a lobby location so that when they leave it'll take them to there uh, but we'll just, for now, let's just go ahead and say, or, sorry, p.teleport. 
to the first world, or the first world in the list of worlds, and then the spawn location of that world. So this is just um, temporary, but I just want to have something there. Uh, finally, let's just go ahead and register these commands, and then we are all done. I'm going to go ahead and put these, even though it's not in alphabetical order, I want to uh, put the join and leave commands before everything else. Um, I want to reorganize these, so I want to have like this. So it'll first have the join and leave, then create and remove, then add chest and add spawn. So... That should just about do it. And now we have uh, all of the commands done, so I can go ahead and delete that since we don't need to keep track anymore. So that's all for this episode of the Survival Games mini-series. We wrote the join and leave commands, as well as fixing just a, just two small bugs. Um, as always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment with what you want to learn. Comment with uh, features you want to see in the plugin. This series can go for as long as you have ideas. Uh, and if you like this video, click the like button. I'll see you guys soon with some more videos. Bye for now.